Good morning children. This is your teacher Miss Sumaya Fatima. Today we are going to study chapter time. Hope you all are at home and at and safe. So let's get started without any further ado. This is an analog clock face. The numbers round the clock face are hours. H O U R S hours. There are 12 hours marked on the clock. Can you see the 12 hours? Yeah, it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12. The lines around the edge are minutes. Can you see the small lines between 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3? Those small lines are minutes. There are 60 minutes marked on the clock. This is because there are 60 minutes in 1 hour. 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes. We now know that 60 minutes are on the clock. There are 5 minutes from 12 to 1, from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and so on. Count with me by 5s around the clock. From 12 to 1 it will 1 2 3 4 5 One to two, it will be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From two to three, it will be eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. From three to four, it will be sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. From four to five, it will be twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. From five to six, it will be. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Till here, it is thirty minutes. From six to seven, it will be thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. From seven to eight, it will be thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. From eight to nine, it will be forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. From nine to ten, it will be forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. From ten to eleven, it will be fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five. From eleven to twelve, it will be fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. This is the whole sixty minutes. The points to the hours. The big hand points to the minutes. When the big hand points to twelve, the time is twelve o'clock. For now, the time on the clock is three o'clock because the big hand is the minute, so it is pointing to twelve. So the time is, and the small hand shows the hour. So it is three o'clock. If we divide the clock into four sections, we would have four quarters. Each quarter represents a fifteen-minute section. From twelve to three, it's fifteen minutes. The first quarter. From three to six, it is fifteen minutes. The second to a quarter, so it will be fifteen plus fifteen, thirty minutes. From six to nine, it it is again fifteen minutes. So it is third quarter. The fifteen plus fifteen plus fifteen, it is forty-five minutes. And lastly, from nine to twelve, it is fifteen minutes again, and it is the fourth quarter. So fifteen plus fifteen plus fifteen and plus fifteen, it is a whole hour. That is sixty minutes. When the big hand moves from the twelve to the three, it is quarter past the hour. This is because the big hand has moved quarter of the way around the clock face. When the big hand moves from the twelve to the six, it is half past the hour. This is because the big hand has moved half of the way around the clock face. When the big hand moves 
from 9 to the 12th, it is quarter to the hour. This is because the big hand only has quarter of the clock face to move to get to the next o'clock or the next hour. This is a digital clock. The hours to the left of the colon, the minutes are the right of the colon. Can you see it, children? How much hour it is? It's 3 hour. And how many minutes? It's 30 minutes. You can see this on your mobile phone or at your microwave at home also. Now what is AM and PM? 12 AM is midnight and we are sleeping at this time because it's mid of the night. 12 PM is noon and we are eating lunch at this time because it is mid of the noon of the day. It's half of day. So when we say AM, we are referring to the hours before noon. Okay? It's not a uh, noon time. If we are saying AM, it, it means we are talking about the morning. It's not noon. It's not an afternoon time. When we say PM, we are referring to the hours past noon. When we are talking about PM, we are saying that it is after the noon. That is afternoon. An easy way to remember AM and PM is, of course, as you can see on the screen, AM means after midnight. So after 12, it's always AM. PM is past morning. So PM is after the morning. So 12 in the morning, it's, uh, you can call the time with PM. Okay, you have to attach the unit of PM with the time. Now we will talk about weeks. How many weeks are there in a day? How many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. As you all know, you go to school from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and you have a holiday on Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday are weekends and Monday to Friday is a weekday because we are working on these day or we are studying on these day. We are going to school on these day. But on Saturday and Sunday we are at home. So it is a weekend. End of the week. How many months are there in a year? There are 12 months in a year. Let us count. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Now, which month is going on right now, children? It is the seventh month, that is July. How many hours do we have in a day? We have 24 hours in a day. The hour hand takes 12 hours to move once around the clock. It makes two complete rounds in a day. Once again, let us revise. There are four quarters in a clock. And every quarter has 15 minutes. When the clock minute hand moves from 12 to 6, we call it half past. And whatever the hour is, we call it for example, the shorthand is on 2 
and the big hand that is the minute hand is on 6 since the big hand is on 6 so we call it half past but what half past which hour of half past it is 2 half past so we will call it as half past 2 understood so we are going to st we have studied till here in the next class we'll study shapes thank you children